Planting tulips is easy. So is making a promise, but getting them both to come to fruition is a little harder. This year, red tulips hold a special significance. Let me explain why. This year, I'm planting tulips with my daughter in mind. In fact, all over the country, parents and teachers will plant red tulips with children. It's part of a national campaign, a symbolic gesture during unsettling times. It's supposed to plant an important message in their minds. Judy Cushing and the Oregon Partnership wants kids to plant the promise to stay away from drugs and drinking. This is their own personal pledge and their own personal commitment. I'm making a commitment to be drug free and I'm going to plant a bulb and I'm going to see it come up in the spring and I'm still going to be drug free. If you'd like to plant the promise, dial 503-244-5211. The first 500 parents and teachers who call get a bag of free bulbs to plant with kids. Plant the Promise comes with a lesson guide for teachers and planting instructions. Remember to plant bulbs twice as deep as the bulbs are tall. The experts suggest you switch to bulb food instead of bone meal. Dogs are attracted to bone meal and may dig up your bulbs. Bulbs look best when clumped together in a group, so place the bulbs in an irregular pattern, but not a straight line. Oh, and one more thing. Roots down, pointy end up. This is one way to plant the promise. The tulips should bloom during National Alcohol Awareness Month in April. OSU Master Gardener and Jagger, Coin Six News.